Did you know that Isaac Newton didn't really discover gravity after an apple fell on his head? Or that he set a date for the end of the world? A man full of curiosities, Newton was undoubtedly one of the most influential scientists in all of history. But his story is even more fascinating than you may think. Hey physics friends, it's Forrest, and today I'm with Google Arts and Culture to uncover six rarely talked about facts about Isaac Newton. So before we take a trip back to 17th century England, make sure that you subscribe to Google Arts and Culture so that you don't miss a beat. Ready? Let's go! Born in 1642 in Lincolnshire County, England, Isaac Newton had a rough start in life. During his early school years, he was often bullied by his peers, but due to his strong conviction to always best his bully, he became the top of his class. However, in his teens, his mother pulled him out of school to pursue farming back in his hometown. But Newton wasn't really vibing with the whole farming thing, so eventually his mother gave in and allowed him to return to school, where he graduated right back up at the top of his class, a stunt that landed him a scholarship at Cambridge University, ending his farming career forever. If this picture looks familiar to you, you've got Newton to thank for it. As one of his undeniable passions, Newton showed great interest into the nature of light. One of his greatest discoveries, the decomposition of light through a prism, proved that color is intrinsic to light and that our perception of it depends on the object with which it interacts. His deep understanding of the subject led him to believe that light was made up of tiny corpuscules, like a stream of particles flowing from the sun and bouncing off of us, anticipating the notion of photons by more than 200 years. As his understanding of light grew stronger, Newton began to see imperfections in the refraction telescopes that he used. Dissatisfied with the technology of his time, he decided to create his own telescope based on reflective mirrors, paving the way for modern telescopes to see worlds beyond our imagination. Even though an apple didn't actually fall on Newton's head, he was inspired by the fall of an apple to begin researching gravity, so I guess we didn't get the apple thing completely wrong. As a pioneer of the scientific method, his demonstration of this force became his most notable achievement, finally providing empirical evidence that the Earth orbits the Sun and changing our understanding of the entire universe forever. Although Newton believed in gravity, he wasn't quite convinced that it alone could keep the planets orbiting in place. For that, he resorted to more divine interventions. As a strong believer in Christianity, Newton meticulously examined the New Testament in search of answers, but what he found was far from what he was looking for. Newton eventually researched the implications of the apocalypse and calculated that the event wouldn't happen before the year 2060, shutting down alarmist theories of the time. Aside from being a Christian devotee, Newton was keen on alchemy too, and while it may be surprising to learn about the wizard within the scientist, back then the study of this craft wasn't that far off from science. His dedication led him to perfect some of its notions, laying a basic understanding of the world around us and the forces that shape it. Although unfortunately, Harry Potter found the Philosopher's Stone before he did. Whether it's trying his luck with the Philosopher's Stone or an apple, there's no doubt that Newton has been a substantial figure in our understanding of the universe. Although its true extent is not widely known, his unquenchable need for knowledge and prolific work have become one of humanity's most influential legacies. Thanks to him, we have the tools to explore our universe well beyond our reach. Thirsty for more? Quench your need for Newtonian knowledge by subscribing to Google Arts and Culture. We have new videos every week.